I'm just a nuclear force of energy and I just can't stop so eventually I'll fall asleep. <laughs> Get in there, I'm just despising what I have to do next. For these snatches, really hate them. Really don't want to do them, but I have no choice. Oh well. Progress rates for no one. Gotta get going. Sleep comes before hydration, it comes before your nutrition, it comes before everything. Um, and people tend to forget it because we live in a crazy universe. This like place where we are up at four in the morning to take a train into the city or uh, we're waking up with, with kids at three in the morning, you know, yada yada. Um, but sleep is probably the most important thing of your life. We have maybe five to, five, maybe five percent, maybe more to 10 percent are shift workers, so their schedules are up in the, in the nighttime and then down during the day because they have, you know, whether they're nurses, EMTs, firefighters, police officers, um, all of that, and that can really long term, whether they're, whether they're getting enough sleep or not long term, that can really be detrimental to your health. Um, but the best way that you can, if you are a shift worker, the best way that you can um, take advantage of your sleep is to make it consistent. So going to bed at the same time, whether it's during the day or not, waking up at the same time, whether it's during the day or not. Consistency is king when it comes to that, if you, if you are a shift worker. If you're not a shift worker, you should be getting eight to nine hours of sleep every single night, all right? And most of the time, Stress is a huge indicator because your cortisol level is spiking throughout the night and so people are waking up multiple times throughout the night. Um, uh, couples a lot of times don't tend to go to the bed at the same time anymore so that creates another wake up time because as soon as your significant other comes in to go to bed, you're awake. That can be really detrimental to your overall sleep pattern. To become consistent with that, that is going to really create a good flow in your body and allow your hormones to work properly allow your digestion to work properly, right? So everything comes from that. The other biggest thing, especially for people that are at the gym three to five days a week, is your recovery. Like, that's when your recovery happens. If you are not in a good sleep rhythm and you're not getting a good deep sleep, your body is having to work extra hard to recover your muscles and your cells to re rejuvenate. So the first half of your sleeping is where your body is recovering. The last half of your sleeping is actually where your mental cog and cognitive functions are recovering. And so a lot of times we get a good sleep at the beginning, but then we cut it short, we're only sleeping for four hours, so our body recovers, but then our mind doesn't recover. And that is a no-no, because your body, your mental mind needs to be able to be on in order for your body to follow it during the day when you're awake, right? So when you're at work, when you're trying to jot down numbers, your mental gain needs to be on. And, and on means a ton of energy. And so if you're not sleeping, and you're not recovering your mental and cognitive side, um, then it's going to be harder and harder for you to have high energy throughout the day. So sleep and exercise like work hand in hand, and it can be either a vicious cycle or a good cycle. Because um, you know if you haven't been working out and you start working out, chances are you're gonna start sleeping better, you're gonna have more energy, and you're gonna be able to work out even harder. But the other side of the coin is that if you are missing your sleep, it's gonna start ruining your workouts. Um, you might start skipping the gym, and then you're gonna start sleeping worse. Um, so you really need to you know, attack it as soon as possible. Um, work out hard, and before you go to bed, make sure you're you know, giving yourself an hour or two online, not looking at any screens, and uh, just like getting de-stressed before you go to bed. Uh, and try to break that cy bad cycle if you're in it. And I remember I was on deployment in the Philippines and I spent four days out because we were on high alert. And we were supposed to work 12 hours on, 12 hours off, but unfortunately one of our guys got sick. So I had to tough it out and do two separate jobs at the same time. And four days up, had every energy drink, any ounce of coffee you can, coffee you can possibly think of. And, oh, 
it's just a bad time. It's delusional. I can still do the job effectively, but because I had something to focus on. But other than that, I could not keep my attention on anything other than work because I knew work was important. Anything else, like remembering to eat and stuff like that, nope. I had to have people like remind me to take breaks because I was just stare off into the distance for like a second and I want to fall asleep, but I can't because I have other things I have to do and stuff like that. So that was, that's yeah, definitely, sleep is not something you want to take for granted, for sure. So if you can manage it, get it. it definitely helps with recovery, so definitely do it if you, need, if you can get at least eight hours most people generally they think eight hours is like the norm oh that's exactly what i want to get no you need a lot more than that sometimes you need up to nine sometimes even ten hours like the more sleep you get the better you feel and kind of you'll see the results even in a place like here in the gym you wouldn't expect that you would expect like oh if i do drills and stuff like that stretch really good i'll, I'll do well in the gym but just sleeping and taking care of your nutrition all that all those little little things that you think wouldn't connect kind of do so sleep is a huge part of that and we take it for granted so don't